Just cock your wrist and you can, you'll find out that you can almost generate three or four or five miles an hour quicker by normally run the ball off that middle finger there. This back hip, you have to drive that through to get you to run down the pitch. If you want to bowl a Yorker, something you got to practice, but you got to keep your head up a lot longer. Not unlike, you just do the opposite when you're trying to um, bowl a, a, a bouncer, as I said, drop your head a little bit. Once you believe you know enough so you don't want to listen anymore, time to pack up. Cricket Love Stories with me, Neil Kagram. Today we're joined by Devon Malcolm. Devon, we're in North Ants. How's it going? Very good, nice to see you. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so Devon, we're going to talk about some tips uh, in terms of the mindset side of fast bowling. Mm -hmm. What are your main philosophies and tips you can give to a youngster? Basically, that's the basic grip, you know. Myself, as a, a, when I used to bowl very quickly, a lot of people said, Dev, you bowl very quickly, but I tell you this now, 80% of the wickets I've took, the balls actually had to do something, either get the ball to swing or to seam. What I did, good, strong wrist position. See that? Get your wrist behind the ball when you're bowling. And again, you know all the different tools, a good run up, fast bowling, good follow through, head position and all that business. But your wrist position, they said, when I bowl, <coughs> My head appears to be going to one side, but if you should, if you could put another bowler, a side-on bowler there, our wrist position will almost be in the same uh, um, uh, um, position as a guy who bowl a bit closer to the pitch than me. My head fall away a bit, but my wrist and my arm position was perfect. Bowling a quick ball, you even want the bowling quicker. When you run up to bowl, if you cock your wrist, if you've got a stiff wrist, that simply means you got to come down. Just cock your wrist, and you can you'll find out that you can almost generate three or four or five miles an hour quicker by just running into bowl, get there to bowl, cock to wrist, stiff wrist, next you got to flick. You got to flick a lot quicker. And if you flick a lot quicker, you'll get the ball to, 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 to go through at a much quicker pace or just, you don't need a hell of a lot just to deceive the batsman. You know, just a little bit quicker than the one you bowled before. By the time the batsman get there, you get him out caught behind or clean bowling. And I said there's, there's different uh, uh, um, ways of uh, swinging the ball. To be honest, um, when I used to play and um, you know probably pathway through the season, I used to flick the ball from this finger and I tell you what, I normally lose quite a large proportion of my finger by flicking the seam there. And uh, you know quite a few years um, later towards the end part of my career, I was speaking to the great um, the late uh, um, Graham Dilley. We were just having a discussion. He was the coach then at Loughborough University. And I would just, because he was a fantastic swinger of the ball, and I was just asking him, how does he swing the ball? And he said, look, Dev, all I did, I normally run my finger, the index finger down this other side of the seam. And he used to swing the ball miles. And funny enough, I told him, what I did, I run this finger. So people find there are different ways of doing things. And I, I tried the way he said, and I still get the ball to swing, but right through my career, I normally run the ball off that middle finger there. But there are different ways, you just make sure you put the ball into your finger a little bit further, and you run your finger across the seam. And again, your seam position. You know, you want the ball to swing towards the first clip. Look, you're gonna make sure the ball is slightly pointing towards, you know. Imagine the ball coming there, that's the slip. That's the, the seam of the ball slightly point towards the slip you find out you'll get the ball to move away from the batsman. When you talk about bowling, in any type of bowling, whether you're bowling fast or whatever, your leading arm, your bowling arm, that's one thing. But wherever you want that ball to go, your non-bowling arm, that's your steering wheel. Your front arm got to be reach high and throw that at the target. Your front arm is your direction arm. Wherever you want the ball to go, you got to throw that front arm at the target and this arm with your head following this front arm will go down um, towards the target and again when you get there on your bowl it's imperative you know for the follow through to save the pressure from your back this back hip you have to drive that through to get you to run down the pitch it's imperative all these different uh, um, uh, um, sectors have to be linked up together as i mentioned 
as a fast bowler, you run up vital, you know, a good, strong, rhythmical run up into bowl. Certain players, you know, say way back when I, I used to love guys like Michael holding bowl because he had a massive long run, very intimidating for a batsman. Anyway, watching you running from all that way. Nowadays, a lot of bowlers use a much shorter run up, a more shorter kilometer run up. But that run up, once you start off, it's got to build up. Once you hit that crease, by the time you hit the crease, you've got to be at maximum pelt, uh, at maximum tilt. You go through, drive that front, that back hip through, and follow down the pitch. And I said again, that front arm, everything got to be going at the target. Again, um, one of the main uh, um, armory of a fast bowler is the bouncer. You use that to obviously get the batsman off his, uh, uh, um, his stride. You know, certain batsmen get in a good position where they can leave the ball easily. And bowling the, the, the bouncer, the short pitch ball, pretty simple really is, you know. Um, running into ball, you just got to drop your head a little bit, you know. If you drop your head a little bit, you know, naturally you're going to pull your arm down and the ball, you'll you pitch the ball short. If you want to bowl, as I said, if you just want to bowl a Yorker, you wouldn't drop your head to bowl a Yorker because if you drop your head, you're going to pull the ball down short. And that's in turn, if you hit the bit hard, um, you know, you're going to get the ball to get through the areas, you know, uh, uh, at the batsman. Again, you don't want the ball too high over the batsman head. You want it in an awkward position, you know, of course, what we'll call the, the <laughs> you know, right, right across the nose or something like that, where the batsman got to get out there and and play the ball and similarly as I said if you want a Yorker keep your head up and you gotta aim you know certain but there's something you gotta work out for yourself so I'm running into ball a Yorker I normally try and aim halfway up the stump of the uh, halfway up the, the stump and normally the ball will end up right in the block hole if you want a ball and nowadays which um, uh, um you know the, the shorter form of the game white ball cricket the, the yorker is still a vital ball to learn to bowl and you got to get that ball right up in the black hole there you know so again if you want to bowl a yorker something you got to practice but you got to keep your head up a lot longer not unlike you just do the opposite when you're trying to um bowl a, a, a bouncer as i said you drop your head a little bit the yorker you got to keep your head up get that front arm thrown and aim halfway up the stump or certain players certain bowlers can aim right at the base of the stump and get it there I generally personally had to aim about halfway up the stump to get it in the block hole okay. and as I said you know um, bowling is great when you're running in and you're getting wickets off the wickets but at times you got to also know that the batsman will get on top certain times and the batsman will bat for a long while without getting wickets so fast bowling is very tough you got to be resilient to, to, to bowl uh, um, quick the captain calling you, your ball is fed, you don't get a wicket, and you gotta be still going, you know, even if call, you know, your captain call it you the last um, session of the day, and you gotta still run in and try and ball quick. So you gotta be mentally tough, you gotta be very fit also. You know, that's a major part of fast bowling. What I would say to any cricketer, and especially bowlers, is this. Once you believe you know enough, so you don't wanna listen anymore, time to pack up. I mean, I played until I was almost 40. And, you know, towards the last year of my career, probably that's when I was most successful because you know what? It's a continuing learning process. You know, the game changes, you gotta be continuing working, batsman not learning. So, you know, listen to your coaches, youngsters, who are watching this video, you gotta listen to your coaches. And don't believe because you've taken five wickets today, you're taking six wickets tomorrow, whatever, you know everything. No, you know, you're as good as your last game. So there's a constant learning process.